The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we are going to record and comp a vocal together using Ableton Live 10. The example that I've got here is a brand new track titled California Picnic featuring Baker out now on my mixtape. I'll put a Spotify and SoundCloud link in the description. Now I've got a vocal chain pulled up here and if you're not sure how to make a vocal chain I will also include some links in the description to how I put something just like this together with effects and parallel processing all in one channel. And the final thing that I'm going to do before recording my first take is go over and grab my preamp. There's an EQ on there with a low cut. Right now it's set to 50. That's kind of where I like to low cut my voice when I make videos. And I'm just going to grab it and crank it up to 160. And the reason I'm going to thin out my voice when I make my recordings is because this song is very light. And I was going to put a plug in on it to do this anyways. And it just sounds so much better if you do it on the way in. So is my voice getting recorded extra thin? Yes. Do I care? No. Um, because that's the desired effect I was going for anyway. So let's just jump in and record take one. We got that thing, yeah. We got that drink, yeah. Up on this blanket. Yeah. We turn it up. So call your bitches. We bout to kick it. This Cali pick. Wow. We wow. turn it up. Wow. 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 It's a big nigga. Wow. It's a big nigga. Wow. We be turning up while we sitting down. Know the secret spot. We could burrow watch. Gucci flip flops with the white socks. Farming for that produce. Got more greens than whole foods. You should really roll through. Brought some for the whole crew. Turn up what we gon' do. Shot it, come and kick it. So, would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my California All right, not a bad first take. And now here's where we start structuring our Ableton session for the comping process. The next thing I'm going to do is hit Command T to create some audio tracks beneath it. And then I'm just going to hit Command D on this one so that we get a bunch that are all the same color. That way we know that, you know, this is the uh, main channel that we record onto and the rest of these are where we store our takes. And actually, I'm only going to do three takes. So I'm just going to leave three duplicates, highlight these, hit Command Shift G. And then we're going to take our plugin chain all of them, Command X, and then paste it right here up on the group. Then we could just drag this down, call it take one, and we can jump in on take two. I'm not, I'm not gonna listen to the whole hook before I start, and let's also mute everything. My monitoring is going through my Apollo 8 if you're using uh, most other audio interfaces, you're going to leave this on. And, and leave this like, like oh. oh. Well, that, now you can see why I leave this off. But for most people that don't have an Apollo, you're going to be leaving that on. Let's jump in on take two. Wow. 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 It's a big nigga. Wow. It's a big nigga. Wow. We be turning up while we're sitting down. Notice your spot. We could better watch Gucci flip flops with the white socks. Farming for that produce. Got more greens than whole foods. You should really roll through. Brought some for the whole crew. Turn up what we don't do. Shot it, come and kick it. So, would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my. All right, pretty clean take two. Let's just go ahead and drag it down. Be careful not to accidentally slide it over. Call it take two. Keyboard shortcut is Command R to rename things. I find that very useful. Uh, let's just record so take three. Bitches, we about to kick it. This Cali pick. Wow. We wow. Turn it up. wow. 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 It's a big nigga. Wow. It's a big nigga. Wow. We be turning up while we sitting down. Notice your spot. We could burr watch. Gucci flip flops. With the white socks, farming for that produce. Got more greens than whole foods. You should really roll through. Brought some for the whole crew. Turn up what we gon' do. Shot it, come and kick it. So, would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my California? All right. So, we got three takes that we really like. We could just go ahead and crop out all the junk here. And now we're gonna wanna go ahead and listen 
to them one at a time. And to do that, we're just gonna have to kind of turn these on and off. It's a little bit slow compared to doing it in Pro Tools, but you know, Ableton's really a beat making software, but I understand that for most of you, you only got one DAW and you gotta make do with what you got. And to tell you the truth, the finished product is gonna sound exactly the same as it would in Pro Tools. You just gotta kind of do, do it the Ableton workflow way. Are you one of the millions of music producers who struggle with chord progressions? Do you find it difficult to make sense of all those confusing keys on your piano? Here at Whole Loops, we've got the solution for you. Introducing Poppin' Cthulhu Chords, the complete collection of major and minor chord presets for Cthulhu that will have you feeling like Beethoven in 10 seconds or less, guaranteed. Poppin' Cthulhu Chords is available now only at Holoops.com. So this is the Ableton workflow way. Let's go ahead and solo this and hold command and solo this. Wow, 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 wow. It's a picnic, wow. It's a picnic, wow. Let's see, so that's our first line. Let's go ahead and solo this one now. Wow, 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 wow. It's a picnic, wow. It's a big nigga, wow. And let's check our third take. Pick wow. We wow. Turn it up. wow, wow, wow. It's a big nigga, wow. It's a big nigga, wow. All right, so I think this take is the best one. So I'm just going to hit Command E and then uh, to split it into its own piece, Command X to highlight it. And then I'm going to hit the up arrow one. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, go down. Let's paste it at the bottom here. Boom. And let's uh, give it our classic golden take <laughs> color and let's go listen through the rest of our takes and over the rest of the lines now we be turning up whoops while we with the beat we be turning up while we sitting down we be turning up while we sitting down we be turning up while we sitting down i actually kind of like that take and since that was the bottom take we're just gonna drag this over and just keep on moving through our pile Gotta kinda hold command while you're doing all this solo clicking. Notice your spot, we could burr watch. Notice your spot, we could burr watch. Notice your spot, we could burr watch. Uh, definitely take two, my voice kinda cracked on that one. It's alright, it happens. Just keeping it real. Gucci flip flops with the Gucci flip flops with the white socks. Gucci flip flops with the white socks. Farm. Let's see. Gucci flip flops with the white socks. Let's go to take two again. Actually, maybe take one was the better one. Gucci flip flops with the white socks. Ah, it's hard to tell some. Gucci flip flops with the white socks. Yeah, I like take two. Let's go ahead. Conveniently already down here. Just go ahead and make this one yellow so we remember this is our good one. Let's just go to the next. Bomb and foot up pro. Whoops. Yeah, man. man. Bomb and foot up. Just gotta remember to hold command when you're doing this. Bomb and foot up pro. Deuce. Got more greens and whole foods. You should really roll through. Bomb and foot up pro. Deuce. Got more greens and whole foods. You should really roll through. Brussels. Let's see if this one's better. Bomb and foot up pro. Deuce. Got more greens and whole foods. You should really roll through. Bru yeah, I like this one. Command X, oops, whoops, and the down arrow. Oh, whoa, there we go. Command V. Yeah, like I said, not the easiest software to comp in, but you can get through it pretty quick. We're on the last line almost. Brought some fur to hope crew. Brought some fur to hope crew. Turn up what we don't do. Let's see this one. Brought some fur to hope crew. Turn up what we don't do. Shot it coming, kick it. Brought some fur to hope crew, turn up what we don't do, shot it coming. Brought some fur to hope crew, brought some fur to hope crew, turn up what we don't do, shot it coming, kick it. Let's give some love to take one. That actually ended up being the best one. So let's get Command X, jump down, Command V. Let's check the final line. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my Cal? 
Let's see. I think this last line was... Uh, let's hear the first one again. Would you like to come to my California picnic? Would you like to come to my California <laughs> picnic? Which yeah, take three. So we're just going to drag this down. So now that we're done with all these other takes, we could just hit the number zero. Very handy keyboard shortcut here in Ableton. And we can collapse all these. And now let's just make all these yellow. This is our golden take right here. Now let's jump in and record some ad libs under our verse. We wow. Turn it up. wow, wow, wow. It's a big nigga, wow, wow. It's a big nigga, wow, wow. We be turning up, up while we're sitting down. Know the secret spot. We could bird watch. Gucci flip flops with the white socks. Farming for that produce. Got more greens than whole foods. You should really roll through. Brought some for the whole crew. Turn to what we gon' do. Short it, come and kick it. So, would you like to come to my California yeah, yeah, picnic? Yeah. Would you like to come to. All right. So now that we got our ad lib track, we can rename this ad libs. Let's call this one verse. And let's uh, go ahead and give our finished song a listen. Wow. We wow. Turn it up. wow. 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 It's a big nigga. Wow. Wow. It's a big nigga. Wow. Wow. We be turning up. Up. Actually, the only thing that I'd like to do is separate our ad libs into their own groups. So we're going to just duplicate this group. Let's give it a second. <laughs> so now that we've got our verse separated from our ad libs in groups, we can make some extra channels in here if we want to go over and record some more ad libs and they'll all be processed together. Now I also like to add a nice quarter note delay to my ad libs. Echo is a great quarter note delay, so we're just going to drop it into this effects rack where we already have the uh, slap effect. And let's just switch this on to ping pong straight notes. Let's hear our ad libs now. Wow, 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 it's a big wow, 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 we be wow, turning wow. up, up, wow, we sitting down, notice a secret spot. And let's go ahead and turn the, some a little bit of wobble on these so they're not exactly the same. Maybe a little bit of noise too, just to add some grit to the delays. Wow, wow, wow it's a big wow, 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 we be, wow, and let's go ahead and do this too. These are all just little tricks to help separate your ad libs from your background vocals, and these can come way down in volume as well. Big nigga, wow, wow, it's a big nigga, wow, wow. We be turning up, up while we're sitting down. Know the secret spot, we could bird watch. Gucci flip flops with the white socks, farming for that produce. Got more greens than whole foods, you should really roll through. Brought some for the whole crew, turn to what we don't do. Short it, come and kick it. So, would you like to come to my California picnic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you have it. We have comped and recorded a vocal together. As for cleaning this up, um, I like to go ahead and kind of just get rid of these unnecessary spaces in the ad libs. Because uh, the ad libs tend to be quieter and you can get away with it. In the verse, sometimes the little bit of background noise actually helps it sound cooler. If you have so much background noise that it's becoming a problem, you could probably just take these down minus 10 here in the uh, Ableton clip gain and just do a little fade and kind of rinse and repeat throughout your whole acapella. You could also use this as a sort of breath management. And I tend to do this a lot to my acapellas because I like to use some heavy handed compression and that tends to make this background noise between the words a little excessively loud. But with some careful fades and volume adjustments, you can keep it really, really natural. And I'm like turning this down like minus 10 because we're really crushing these vocals through a compressor and you'll hear that it's definitely a lot cleaner in the beginning than in the end, but this would be a 15 minute tutorial of me just putting in fades. You guys get the idea. Wow. 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 It's a big nigga. Wow. Wow. It's wow. Let's do one for this pause too. I like to hold command because it gives you the slip control. So you don't really got to get it dead on because you can use the fade to. Uh, wow. It's a big nigga. Wow. Little breaths like this are just going to help keep your listener focused on the lyrics and not all the other distracting elements that make it into the vocal recordings like headphone bleed and all that junk wow 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 it's a big nigga wow wow it's a big nigga wow 
So there you have it. That is my Ableton vocal recording and comping workflow. Even got a little couple bonus tips on mixing and cleaning up your recordings to make them sound more like the finished version. If you'd like to check out some more of my vocal tutorials, like I said, there's a bunch of links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave it in a comment below, and I'll see you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.